I thought I'd just welcome back to my craft room. Um, I've done a little tin. I've done something a little bit different this time. Um, this is um, what they call an Altoid tin. And um, it has mints in it. Now, here in Australia, we don't they don't um, sell Altoid tins. So I actually got this on a cruise on an American cruise ship. And I bought a few of them. <clears throat> but you can get something similar. So this is a little tin. I'll just give you the measurements of it. It's um, at roughly three and three quarters by just over two, two and a quarter. And what I've done is I've covered, I've, I've painted um, all around the edges. And then you can see I've just sanded it all back so it's nice and smooth. And there's about three coats of paint um, all around. And on the top, and then each area is also covered with a uh, cutout. Now these ones came from the Graphics Fairy. Um, and the one underneath here from the Graphics Fairy, I printed them out. This is a Tim Holtz. Um, this is a Tim, Tim Holtz die. Um, this is the one, uh, the 3D impress lids die. And then you use the glaze and um, crayons to um, make it look old. A little um, charm that somebody gave me, my friend, and just a little bit of ribbon and a little pink heart. We go in inside. There's a nice little um, saying in there, also from the Graphics Fairy. And then we take this out. And again, you can see it's been painted inside and covered by this set from the Graphics Fairy. So I'll just leave that up there. <clears throat> and then this, I've wrapped a little pink ribbon around it because I wanted it to be loose. I didn't want it. I want, didn't want it to be stuck in the um, tin. So here, it's been concertinaed together. I'll just show you from the beginning. So if we go from the beginning. So I've used Tim Holtz's paper doll collections and also um, Tim Holtz's um, floral um, fussy cut images and some other bits and pieces. They've been slightly coloured, some of these. So what I've used um, is, i just bring it up a bit more. You can see the little bit of pink in the... Um, there's um, a Q-tip or a cotton, uh, a cotton tip. And just dipped it lightly in the um, distress ink and then just uh, wiped it on. It takes a little bit to dry, but it's got that nice effect. Uh, joining this one, I've um, put on some cotton, just um, torn it. You've seen the torn edge. And then on the next one, I've used the tape. So I've coloured that one again. And I've done a similar thing all the way along using the majority of it is, is Tim Holtz products. Then over on the other side I've uh, done a clear uh, tea dyed paper and I've just backed it up again with either the torn cotton strip or the Tim Holtz. So it's, cute, it's as cute as a button. I think it's something that would really um, be nice to give as a little birthday present maybe tuck some money in or little keep couple of little keepsakes write some messages in from people um i really enjoyed making this one i'll put the i'll put the ribbon on it afterwards i really enjoyed making this one and i hope you enjoyed seeing it okay see you soon bye